You've got a lot of skills that are significantly higher than 300. You also have some skills that are not that level. So, so it's going to be a coin flip if I can utilize my well, we've, above we've, 300 skills. Well, we want to take you out of your comfort zone. We want to we want to start leveling up those 100 level skills. And building rooms is one of them. Yep. So we're not going to go down that path if if the cards don't say to, but. Uh, I would usually zoom out to see everything, um, but you do whatever settings work for you. All right, is that fine? Oh, hello. Okay, first thing I notice is childless because right. I love that card. Uh huh. Um, day laborer. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know you like Scholar. It can be good. Okay, so immediately I'm thinking Childless or Cottager, but most likely Childless. Yeah, Cottager is not worth a first pick, I don't think. Uh, and from these, um, I'm drawn to Loom. Okay. Because I think it's very strong. It's got printed points and the food and the scoring. Absolutely. Definitely fine. A uh, uh, lot to be said for rammed clay, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of rammed clay. I would uh, say... Either is totally fine. I'll, I'll go with Loom. That okay. was my first instinct. Sure. Any of the others worth mentioning? Uh, Beanfield's Man good Mantle synergy. But Beanfield's good synergy, but not strong enough. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really want to have you play another child this game, but we can do it. All right. No, we sh we should do it. It's it's what the hand says to do, right? You don't want to go okay. against the the cards tell you to do. That's that's what uh, we've got to well, do. Well, we we don't we don't have to play it. True. So if if I wasn't going childless here, what would you take? Uh, house steward or tutor? Right, house steward for more rooms. Yeah. Okay, so if I want to build rooms, carpenter. Mm, even if you did build room, carpenter is underwhelming. You, you don't like it? No. What? You think I should pick wall build your favorite card? <laughs> Um, okay, what can I actually use here? Well, priest, priest doesn't work priest with not, not energy. Yeah. These seem to be pretty underwhelming occupations. There are a couple of them I think are fine here. I think Sheepwalker and Animal Tamer are both good for different reasons. Uh, but Sheep they both Walker with, with Loom? So, if someone else has Sheepwalker, they're going to be aggressive on the sheep, and you don't really want that. Uh, mm -hmm. Animal okay. Tamer lets you hold the sheep that you can start breeding early without building fences yet. So, I think both of those are fine. I think Clay Hut Builder is fine. Uh, and I think there's even an excuse to take Priest, but... Okay. I haven't played Animal Tamer, so I don't mind the idea. Okay. Um, if I have that, I don't need, I don't need Mini Pasture, and right? And likewise, if you want to pick Mini Pasture, you don't need Animal Tamer. No. Okay, I'm not really a fan of market stall. Don't well, it, it does nothing with childless, right? That yeah, just says exactly. I made the wrong decision earlier, basically. Okay, from these threshing board... I like threshing gonna, board here. Yeah, so if I'm going to be playing childless, I'll have the grain to use. Yep, I like it. Do you normally look at the ox first or both at once? Uh, it's all together, basically. Uh, 
still drawn to plow driver i mean yeah the the game's telling you to repeat the repeat the process from previous games uh and i mean uh, look the, it's by far the strongest card there in my opinion no reason to to pass on it as far as i can tell small scale is pretty anti-synergistic with childless Conservator's fine, but, you know, Plow Driver's just better. Um, do you remember... You don't like, you don't like Woodcutter, do you? Not usually, though. No. Um, there are combo cards for Plow Driver in this draft, right? Sure. Um, which ones? Okay, so from the first pack, you'll want to remember Scholar. Yeah, okay, yeah, Stonehouse, right. yes. Uh, and then Conservator might come back around. Probably not, but it might. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so there's two things that help you get fields. Do you need either of those? Not with Cloud Driver, no. You don't. Uh, so, hard porcelain potentially just to get stone. Okay, yeah, if you think you'll end up with extra clay, that's fine. Well, I can just, well, I can assume there'll probably be lots of clay on the board. Okay, I like it. Not trying to make Then again, you... there is there is rammed clay, so... Yeah. Um, well, that lets you help compete against rammed clay. I don't want you to take too much time because you're talking to me, by the way. Just be careful with the timer. Yeah, that's all right. Purple's still thinking. Yeah, when I've coached people before, they're their game times end up being like an hour. <laughs> and I... we, we, we won't spend that long. Okay. Yeah. I'm normally pretty quick. Yep. No, I think taking hard porcelain does a lot of good. Like, Clay Hut Builder is in the game, so that might inject 10 clay into the game. Uh, you get yep. to weaken rammed clay if you're competing for clay. So... If there's rammed clay still available from my first hand, which no would chance. be unlikely. Yeah. No chance? I'm putting the odds at, like, half a percent. Everyone knows okay. it's good. Yeah. Unlike Childless. Yeah, yeah, well, from, the from our first video, my first instinct on Childless was it's bad. Mm -hmm. But I like it now. I mean, you've definitely experienced the strength of it. Like, you've basically never needed a crop action. Speaking of crops. Speaking of crops. Grocer. Mm -hmm. this, this is an interesting pick. Manservant. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like a lot of these, but I'm only, I'm not going to see them again. I think there's a good case for four of them. Uh, also Groom. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so your four would be Groom, Grocer, Manservant, Roof Baluster, I guess? Not Groom. Uh, Instead of Groom, I'd go Consultant, because you have a Loom. Consultant. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not a... <sighs> I don't really like Grocer, to be honest. Because I struggle with food a lot, I'm more inclined to pick Manservant. Then let's take Grocer. Okay. So... Uh, da, da, da. I don't particularly like any of these. I don't need plow help. Okay, take one out of the game. Take a plow out of the game? Take something out of the game. Yeah, what do you okay. not want someone else to play? Uh, I'm not particularly scared of any of these. Okay. Either, either plow or large greenhouse, I guess. Sounds okay to me. Alright. So... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be... Your hand has a lot of food in it. You have a loom, you have a threshing board... Well, I guess you don't really use the threshing, but yeah, you have a childless. So. All right, I think this pick is very obvious. Yeah. And then minor improvement. Probably, 
mantle piece, I would say. I well, would, obviously not not. I would advise against. Against mantle piece. Mm -hmm. I think there's a clear good choice here. Shepherd's crook. Right. If we had remembered Shepherd's crook, we should have taken manger, last pack. And it's okay, and just have big fields. Right, and debatably, we should have remembered Shepherd's Crook because we picked Loom out of this pack. Okay, I see the synergy. Right. So the idea with Shepherd's Crook is you make two boxes adjacent to each other and uh, pick up four sheep at once. And then you, like, sheep walk with that? You could. Uh, we wouldn't, because you would just pile up the sheep for loom. Right. Basically, every sheep up to the ninth sheep does something on the natural scoring threshold and loom. Uh, da -da -da. You mentioned bread paddle a lot, but... Okay, why do you think I... Okay, bre bread paddle and scholar. Red Pal and Skull have yep. seen Dev's good synergy. Absolutely do. Also, are you ever taking vegetables on Childless? Potentially, but not my first two or three. I think you have two vegetables All right, I have gross, on the grocer gross. that you want to use. Yeah. Okay. So your Childless is going to be pure grain. So you're going to have enough grain to put in the ground and bake with Red Paddle later. Because you have Red Paddle, I don't know if you need Oven Firing Boy. But just take adoptive parents out of the game. Sure. Nothing else is like must be picked. Uh last pick. That seems overkill. Mm -hmm. I don't mind acorn basket. I think that's a fine pick here. That seems... I don't like any of these. You're unlikely to use any of them. I think one of them has the smallest chance of being played. A small scale farmer? No, not that. It would be Paper Maker. But, I mean, the chances you play it are so minimal. We're just going to ignore that card. I am third player. Right. So that's something we could have talked about in the draft. Um, is that when you're a specific player order, you can line up your childless setup with more or less uh, ease. Yeah, let me see now. Sure. All right, greengrocer and then assistant tiller. I think Grosser seems pretty good. Okay, it, it's kind of not, but that's what? because veggies uh, really don't help. Okay, so I want to build a room and take three wood yep, or resource good. market. Uh, whichever one you do, you're probably taking one read second. That's what I don't like to see. I agree. That's just generally bad play. I mean, I, I don't like to see it. I don't really care about his gameplay, but I don't like to see it because I'm now fourth player. So, because you took three wood, and yep. you're aiming for one read, um, you're going to be fine. Nobody's taking the one read action next round. Right? As in the read bank? Yeah, right. Nobody's taking read bank next round. Until you do. Hopefully not. Trust me, nobody's going to take one read in round two. Okay, but ideally I'd take resource market. Um, but is the that chance more of it being important? available. What's most important for you is the wood. Okay, so I really want to get three wood. Yeah, and even if... 
Well, there are two two wood spots, but those usually last until the last action. But the the least gambling option is to take two wood first action if you don't get three. Scythe worker. Interesting. Okay, there's the wood. So two wood is very safe. Resource market has higher upside and is probably safe. Like 80, 90% of the time. I'll take resource market in the hope that I'll get one of these wood. Yeah, it's usually pretty and, defendable. And if not, what is my plan? Uh... So if, if I can't get one of the two wood, what would you do here? Good question. <laughs> I don't particularly, well, okay, I can't take meeting place anymore. Correct. Um, You're going fourth next round. Okay, it looks like I'm getting the wood anyway. Yep. But uh, one reason I might have taken two wood first action is because uh, this downside Right, then I have to read bank to fall back on. It's ridiculously bad. Uh, but actually, we probably could have foreseen that you were going to get two wood because we didn't see that purple set up seasonal worker assisted tiller. Would you be concerned about purple just winning the game? Yep. Uh, not just because of that, but they have the lowest rated player right in front of them doing some questionable things. All right. Followed by the other 300 level player taking start player three rounds in a row. Like, that's just bad. Oh, hang on. He canceled. Okay. So when you do something like what Red's doing, you're really benefiting the player behind you. Okay, my first instinct but, here but is to gray, play, gray, play Ock. Yeah, yeah, that's the more. Oh. Okay, unfortunate. Uh, still build a room though, right? Do you need to do that first? No. So, what am I going to do instead? Good question. Um, resource market still available. There's three wood on the board. Mm -hmm. I would probably take four clay. But three wood's very good too. Four clay is not quite what, the right number, but you don't need any more. What is my plan for four clay? Uh, an oven. Right. Okay. All right. We're, we're but what you should note is that reed stone food, the reed is not helpful, assuming that you get your renovation reed from grocer. Because grocer has two reed on it, which is going to be enough for your renovations later. Right. But I want to build more, more than one room this game uh not with well, childless given the armor. given the cards in my okay given right. the cards in my hand i don't right ideally we would have been able to draft like house steward carpenter's parlor and shot for some rooms really early but that's not what you were dealt and we know how efficient the game plan you're about to embark on is we do Like three, oh, there's like three God. players who want to sew in stage one. It's kind of wild. So actually, you want to be paying attention to the who can who else can buy the oven because uh, I don't know how quickly it's going to get snapped up. Right. Okay. No one else has clay at the moment, so I'm not too concerned. Uh -huh. That's really annoying that you started third and just had no real good option to not be fourth the next three rounds. That's just some I, real wild card play by Red there. I still feel pretty comfortable. 
yeah, there are a lot of good things here. Um, you might end up with a one proc childless, though, which is not great, but workable. Would you still play it here, then? Oh, yeah. I mean, the upside on it's crazy. Okay. Oh, uh, dear okay. God. So, uh, I mean, if, if you didn't think you were in trouble before. All right, the cool thing here is that you don't need a food action. You were able to get free occupation. So this is actually a pretty consistent pattern. If you don't need to play any occupations early, you can usually wait out for uncontested, cheaper opportunities to occupation in round four and sometimes round three. So sometimes just taking room parts without caring about playing cards can be overall a more efficient path to go down. Okay, my first thought here is Clay Pit would let me renovate and clay oven. Oh, I still need to read. Uh, you can buy Either the clay that oven or just first. Wood. So what move are you going next round and how many more people are left playing this round? This round is only me. Okay. And I am... Oh, I'm second. Okay, so I can let the clay build up. Right. Can you so let the wood build up? I should not let the wood build up for purple, right? I agree. So that... Sometimes you get put into very tactical moments in Agricola. And that's one yeah, of them. I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even notice he was first player. Right. So we do talk a lot about, like, long-term strategy and plans and theory, but sometimes you just got to respond to specific situations like that. Yeah. So then you suggest six, six clay first action. Okay, I got, I got rewarded there. Yep, not punished. And, I mean, the punishment's really from... Right. Red being crazy, so. Play Hot Builder. Alright, if you didn't think you were in trouble before. Uh, yeah, so the play you definitely good. take 5 clay? Yep. There are other good moves here. You could try to hit 5 food, 5 food. You can uh, play Grocer. Okay, Play grocer. Hmm. All right. Play okay. Holder. I keep I keep forgetting grocer is giving me my read. But how am I? So okay. So I need the five food for grocer. Well, you need the oven, and the bread paddle, and hopefully a lot of grain from childless, and red taking start player again. The good news about red taking start player so often in the early game is that they won't have any cards to play in the late game, so you can worry less about going last in the late game. Okay, so I'm looking at fishing then. I think that's wrong. Uh... Why is that wrong? Check oven options. Uh, who can build the oven soon? Uh, purple. Purple can purple next in a round. couple of actions, yeah. Nope, purple can next round because they have two clay coming in. Right, so I need to take it away now. That's the safest way. I was really, uh... I can't improve, okay. I was really hoping to be greedy and get both actions in. You can play a minor improvement on renovation. And you would cook it here. Oh, yeah, I would absolutely bake this. So, childless is not your only grain source, even though we're planning to only take grain with it. I still have grocer. You have grocer, and you also have animal tamer throwing you a grain. And now you have the oven when seasonal worker tiller got played by someone else and some other players doing scythe worker early. So 
despite two very powerful grain engines by your opponents, you're the one with the oven and the baking. Damn right. Yep. There's still the, there's still the other oven. Yeah, that one's worse. Got a talkative friend there. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so red, by taking star player so much, gifted gray the first growth of the game if they want it. Isn't that fun? Uh, but yeah. I should be guaranteed. I should be guaranteed it next anyway, right? No one's got rooms. Uh, guaranteed's a funny word. I don't foresee anyone else building a room. Oh, you. Okay, so purple is probably no purple can't yet. I think I am guaranteed next. Not quite. Okay. Who who can still build a room? Uh, hang on, hang again. on. Let's focus on what I'm. Let's focus on what I'm doing here. Um. So I want to play ox. So you'd play grocer here, yeah? Uh, I probably wouldn't. I would probably like four take wood? four wood or six food. In that case, I'd probably be more inclined to take the wood because there are two six food options. Okay. Well, what I have in mind is that you might have to take start player with your first action next round, uh, with your second action this round. Because purple's going to build a room on day labor. All oh, right, day labor. Okay. Okay, I will take some food then. And now you should have no concerns about being able to buy a grocer. Yeah, I can just... Yeah, how hard was that? Food. Not used to seeing so much food stacked up on these. True. Uh, some of your opponents are doing some odd food injection. So I would only take first player if purple builds a room, mm -hmm. which is likely to happen. Well, they might take forward. All right, so the minor improvement I am going to play is... Probably bread paddle. Bread paddle's fine. Loom's the other option. Uh, hard porcelain's not impossible. Because there's a lot of clay in the game. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of grain. Yeah, I guess you're playing bread paddle and hard porcelain in either order, your next two moves, so. Okay. Because you can't actually play loom yet. I forgot, needs a uh, second occupation. I've never had this much food in my life. It's a good feeling, isn't it? Here's one more. Okay, so my... Sorry? There's one more food. Yeah. So my plan for the next action is... Six wood if available. Eight play otherwise, if available, but otherwise grosser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess grosser it is. Yep, and you know, that's fine, right? The last action you should the, the action you should never take here is forest. Because purple just took Star Player. Right, so I'm probably gonna get six wood because they want to grow. Only if someone uh, else has an empty room. I don't want to bake here, do I? I agree. You can pass this one. It would probably be okay to bake one more before sewing, but... Uh... 
purple's not going to be contested for growing, right? Right. So now, actually, so the, the why did they take first player? Uh, maybe they're aiming for six wood now. So maybe maybe three wood was okay if you were able to see that no one else would have a room. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone seems to have a lot of food. Yep. Everyone has spent quite a few actions getting food. I would argue you've spent the least actions doing food-related things. It's kind of funny when it ends up like this. When you Alright, so my next, my next few goals would be related to getting a stone house now, yes? Correct. So I have, so, okay, so I still need to go to clay, but I have the grocer to get my reed. Mm -hmm. I have hard porcelain to get my stone. And you have one stone on the grocer. I just take everything from grocer now? Uh, only take what you need. Also, do you need to renovate first? Uh, no. Well, yeah, no, no, I don't. Okay. So I like the look of four wood, or would you start playing more occupation? I like the look of four wood. What is your next occupation? There's one answer. Cloud driver? Nope. Wrong answer. Animal tamer. Wrong answer. Oh, scholar. Scholar's the occupation. Right, you do, yeah, okay, you, you do scholar and then plow driver the scholar round Scholar plays plow driver for free, and you can still use plow driver that f first round. Oh, you can still use it in the same round. The timings match up. Once you live in the stone ah. house at the start of each round, once you live in a stone house at the start of each round. Okay. And uh, when you have duplicate timings, uh, the game is friendly. It lets player choose the order. Okay, I did not know I'd be able to plow a field. Right, that okay. explains answering plow driver. Yeah. But uh, scholar ends up being the right answer. Is there a faster way to pay for gross on? Nope. Alright, so I don't need to do this yet, I'll just renovate. Correct. And probably Loom, yeah. Loom's fine. Uh, is there a major? I don't think so. You might actually want a Shepherd's Crook before Loom. Hard to say. You're probably going to play both on your renovations. Okay. If my plan is to play both, then I'll play Crook first. Yeah. All right, and then how far away are you from your next renovation? Uh, where's Mr. Grosser? He's got one stone, so I need two stone. Two stone, and it costs four food to get down to that second read. So uh, you have two action spaces that give you two stone. Okay, yes. Yep. Hard pull. I forgot again. Okay. Um, and then... Use your judgment on which one is better to take away from the table. Yeah, obviously the stone. I think in this case the stone. Yeah, play is free. All right, good. So next round, you need four food. You want to play Scholar, and you want to renovate. Right? Yes. If I have calculated correctly, that means you have one free action. I. How am I getting my four food? That is what I would like to know. It is connected to one of the two other mandatory actions.
That is to say, you're getting it on either Scholar or Renovation. Uh, and you're getting it on Scholar because of Bread Paddle. Okay, forgot about Bread Paddle. So, okay, I'm going to bake on my occupation. Right. Because that um, saves you an entire food move. So no one can renovate still, so I'm taking... I'm playing Scholar first. Sounds good. You definitely want the cheap occupation space. Yeah. Yeah, and four wood's nice, but it's not uh, as important. So then your free action could go a lot of different directions. Um, it could just be a standard good move, but it could also be something that... Um, allows you to get more food for plow driver and scholar because you don't want to bake too much grain. Yeah. Um, okay, so I could just take a grain seed and turn it into five food from baking. You could. I think that's... Or I could just take, take food away from the table. Yeah, I mean, if you can take five for yourself or three away from the table, you should probably take five for yourself. Um, what I was thinking is change the idea of playing Loom into playing a Cooking Hearth on your renovation. Okay, you just got past a mini pasture. That, that doesn't work well with Shepherd's Crook. Also, they just took the move oh. back, so. What was your suggestion? Play, uh, build fireplace? Uh, or build four clay, stone oven? Take four clay and build a cooking hearth. Oh, cooking hearth. Um, that's just one way to do it, though. Resource market's not a bad move here, because you're getting to save four food immediately, and you get a food right now. Um, so the scholar is gonna cost a food to play the plow driver, and then the plow driver is gonna cost a food, which means you owe two food at the start of next round. Yep. So I would be taking a move here that gives you food in some way, either immediately or down the line. So I would suggest either one grain or four clay and change bloom to hearth or resource market. Those are all I think fine. One grain, four clay or resource market. Mm -hmm. It's basically up to you. Okay. I will, I'll take the grain because that was okay. my ideal. Sure. Even if it's probably a bit less efficient. I'm not sure it is. This, this is a situation where, you know, I don't actually have the right answer or, or, a, or a certain answer. I will say what I like about taking the cooking hearth is that it makes you a threat to take these animal stacks that are getting kind of big. Yeah. But that, that's just me trying to police the board a little. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, gross is actually pretty handy, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess uh, you can already play Fireplace. I forgot about that third clay from Grocer. Huh. And you could also turn that clay into stone and build, like, the joinery, but disgusting. Um, I still want to play Loom here. Sounds good. I'm 
pretty sure you can bake with the bread paddle before having to pay plow driver. I hope you don't have to raw eat a grade to do this. It would make sense. I think it would. I play an, play an occupation baker bread. Yeah. Well, the timing can get annoyingly specific on some of these cards, so. All right, let's see if it lets you. No. Oh, that's a bummer. Sorry Build a minor that. improvement. So that's the alternative scholar option, but we don't want that. I think we probably just want to move forward and accept we burned a raw grain. I would okay, how do I... In the how do I exchange... Menu, you... Yeah, you click that, and then raw eat a grain, and then it should let you uh, play an occupation for a food, and then you bake a, one more grain. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Not how we drew it up, but... So in that case, then fishing was definitely the right option. Uh, resource market. Because you wouldn't have to... Oh, yeah, yes, sorry, sorry, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and th this was what I was hoping wasn't the case, but oh well. Okay, so we should also talk about how many fences we're building and where. Specifically, do we need to do two big boxes? Or can right, we do... Right, for Shepherd's Crook. Right, because if that's the case, we don't even need all these plow driver fields. Uh, Shepherd's Crook is there. Four farmyard spaces. So how the hell would you draw that up? Uh, you would do two squares on the top eight spaces. Oh right. Okay. Yes, I see. Right. And that costs fourteen. So would you prioritize getting some wood? Three, and three wood. If you can. What is Red's plan with all this clay? Uh, well, they've got the rammed clay. But I don't know what they're doing with 28 fence pieces. Hmm. I would assume they're looking at building rooms later on, but can't be sure. So what did you just get past? Mini pasture. Right. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. There's actually a fun thing you can do here. If you get meeting place last action and guaranteed access to sheep, First action next round. You can hold s five sheep if you play Animal Tamer. Okay, yeah, yeah. I play Mini Pasture with the Meeting Place. Yeah, and then you won't really need the second Shepherd's Crook activation because you just got five sheep. So you can fence more normally and get more fields for your ceiling on fields. Okay, and I'm going to be playing Animal Tamer with Scholar anyway. Right. Uh... But that's a last okay. action thing. Surprise, it's my sheep. It's not a thing right now, I don't think. Okay, so right now then, I either want more wood or just straight up food. Or grain to turn into food. Right, the grain is a five food action for real now. Yeah. Um, that and two would both seem fine to me. Okay, I'll take the... Uh, 
No one's going to be taking the grain. I mean, they're both pretty important. Like, I'm not going to tell you that one's necessarily better or worse. Because I don't know. Wow. Uh, so, uh, what you might not have noticed is that Gray set up, like, two or three cards that all work on grain seeds. Or just... Oh, uh, yeah, three of them. So they're getting a grain, a vegetable, uh, they're buying a cow for a food, and sometimes they're getting three food also, if farmland is occupied. All right. So, so you would have predicted that with farmland being occupied? You could have predicted that, yeah. So a couple reasons that two wood is maybe better than grain seeds this round is because five food is probably available next round on three different spaces for you. Yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm, I'm getting a grain from Animal Tamer as well. Right, and then your loom is going to be activated once you have a billion sheep. Okay, so now I definitely want to take these sheep away. Yeah, probably. So, meeting place? I think so. This is a... Meeting place, mini pasture. Yeah, this is a pretty silly sequence to be able to actually accommodate five sheep out of nowhere, but here we are. Uh, so, placement-wise? Well, now we're going back to a more normal farm arrangement. We don't need to do the, the two boxes anymore. So, basically okay. do whatever you'd normally do. Yeah, this is sneaky. I don't think I've ever done this specific combo before with all my games. This, just... is, <laughs> this is something I would never say. <laughs> it's very sneaky. Yeah. Well, I mean, purple's fault for passing the mini faster. I would occupation first. It gives you the bake if you want it. Feels wrong. Poor purple. Do you feel bad for the player who has tiller, seasonal, loam pit? Commentary? Oh, he's already on 30 points, so not really. Yeah. All right. Woohoo. <laughs> My babies come to me. <laughs> How many more wood do you need defense? Uh, so if I'm only going to 12, then I probably have enough, right? You do. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to go to, though? 12 is not great because you don't get a shepherd's crook that way. So if I want to go to 15, I need two more. Uh-huh. But do you get Shepherd's Crook if you go to 15? I Sorry, I'm quizzing you on a very obscure detail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need seven for a four, and then one, right. two. Right, yeah, nine. Okay, so that would be your plan, just three pastures? Uh, yeah, I think the two sheep are worth it. To give up the point. Oh, fencing being yeah, taken. Yeah, by the person who had 30 fence pieces. That's, that's fair. I can't really fault them for that. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you have Okay, some I want to here. plant. Sure. Would you take a grain seeds and then utilize? No. Would I, you just I would so want to. And not bake. My other option here. I don't need to bake. You have enough bake actions incoming. Yeah. And uh, you don't need to buy that second veg. You'd rather multiply your grain right now. If you have a field set up like this, would you put the grain on top 
with the vegetables on top. Uh, aesthetically, I'd probably put the grain in the corner because there's going to be one grain left on it at the end of the game. And I want that crap in a corner, personally. But if gonna you be sow, right in the middle of my farm. Yeah, but if you sow like another grain on top of this one next round, then it'll be a nice like one and two left at the end of the game. So there, there are ways of uh, escaping this aesthetically. I think my next field is going to be down in the corner here. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the right place to put it. Um. So I'm looking at... Would you bother getting more wood for a fence or just take a grain? If I get more that, wood, that's, it's not that's for fences. Really... Wood is not going to be for fences, okay. but uh, wood can be for stables or a joinery. Right, right. So would you still recommend taking wood here? I was tossing up between grain and fishing. Those are fine. Uh, gray still has a person, so I just want to take grain away from them. Okay. Also, they took meeting place, so punish them. <laughs> Not really, but yep. I don't really know if they needed meeting place here. But... Or, or if they what needed if... the grain here, I should say. But maybe they were going to take it. If they're going to take five food instead, then they would have taken like a seven or eight food, whatever that action is for them. So good block, I guess. Well, I just saw the guy on farmland, so I assumed that would be the next logical no, no. step. It is, yeah. Okay, so I didn't say it, but uh, you're talking to Donkey Kong. Um, I would have taken three stone when you took grain utilization. Three stone? Yeah. I don't think there was much competition for grain utilization, though I might have noticed wrong. Uh, we didn't look. What What are your thoughts on this statement? Uh, I mean, does my video agree? <laughs> I have a video for this. <laughs> I don't have to answer these yeah, questions on... anymore. I, I don't think Grocer is. I think on your tier high. list, on your tier list, child was, child list was pretty high. Yeah. It's like three, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I think grocer's slightly overrated. Uh, I have to discard a poor sheep. You sure do. I'm in a turn-based game with Donkey Kong right now. I did see that earlier. Yeah. Should tell him to say hi to YouTube. Say hi to my YouTube. <laughs> that would be funny. I already did mention that you were teaching me, so gotcha. I don't know if you realize this. Gotcha. Uh, do I even want to play one of these? Sure. Just for the just for the baker bread action. Uh, you could use it for baker bread, but are you might use adoptive parents, right? Yeah, right. If I get and, ocean wish. Uh, you don't want to spend wood on a minor improvement right now because you're wood perfect on fences. Okay, I definitely want to bake though. Okay. That does let you uh, buy field, so. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't call grocer better than tiller. Is there any chance I'm going to be able to catch up to purple? No. No, this one's over. Uh, they have a five. What about house. what about gray? I think you're clearly in second. I mean, does gray have a farm built? Gray has half a farm. Do they have pastures for all the cows? They, they, have, they, have, they have a cow. <laughs> they have a single cow. Yeah, they don't have fences and they don't have a ton of point ceiling, so. 
Um, do I need to fence urgently? That's a great question. Probably not. Probably not. Gray still needs defense, but... Yeah. Purple's not allowed defense. Red's not going to fence, surely. Red can fence one more. and They, they can't, but they won't. Yeah. Um... Okay. In that case, I'm looking at more wood. I like it. Traveling players. Meh. More wood then. Yeah, wood lets you do a lot of stuff. Um, So, wood is something you need for your minor improvements, right? Or at least one of them. Uh, yeah, it can it's be stables. Um, yeah, your scholar might be done here. Like, you could take a reed so scholar can give you a pig on round 14 with acorns basket. That's not the worst thing. Um... But yeah, your your only goal here is to like get fences, hope to get cows, get a pig somehow. So I like fences and reed as two actions here. Reed or resource market. And then scholar would play acorns basket next round. Yep, yeah, to get the pig. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I want to take fence. I want to take fencing first, just in case. I agree. Yeah. Fencing nine is not that bad, especially when they have access to extra cows. But yeah, I mean, purple's already got like yeah, my god, forty-five with two rounds to go. Beautiful. Yep. You can cram all seven sheep into that big pasture. And have uh, space to put cows and or pigs. You can build a stable later. Oh. Yeah, you're going to have a solid game here. Okay, so you you would take reed Maybe. for acorn basket? Maybe. There's one other good option here. Because you played adoptive parents. Yeah, taking the first player for urgent wish. Right. And I can play threshing board when I do that. You can. I mean, scholar is going to be out of stuff to do, but that's also okay. Yeah. Well, then I just save a food from scholar, but I don't get a bake action. Uh, scholar doesn't cost food for improvements. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so this is a kind of interesting. Do you think you're going to be gifted Urgent Wish next round? I'm before red. Uh, I don't foresee it though. Yeah. I'll. I think I. I think I'll probably. Maybe be able to get a pig though. I think that's, that's a just, fair guess. Yeah. Yeah, so Scholar retires unless you want to bake a grain. He can retire. He's done his job. Yep. It's really too bad there was the manservant and the groom in the fourth pack. 
never had a chance to get both of them. Also kind of silly that you just had Grocer. To pick yeah, I, of... I, I would not have picked Grocer, but it definitely saved me this game. Right, and... I mean, the food that you had piled up didn't last forever, but it all worked fine, I think. Gray has, what is this, 13 grain and 8 vegetables? Yeah, they're doing pretty well for themselves. <laughs> I mean, no way they... A bit, a bit too much, yeah. a bit too much grain. probably want urgent wish i definitely do but the other consideration is two cows correct that's interesting i definitely agree but what's also interesting is they're childless yes so you know. They are only uh, 300 ELO. People are going to play how they're going to play. Can't uh, always explain. I think Gray's about to tell them how they're playing incorrectly. <laughs> That's uh, kind of odd from a 130 player to a 300 player. Oh, look at this. Marketplace. Meeting place, I mean, why? I don't know. You're getting something good next. So I'm either getting cows or... Cultivation? Cultivate. Oh, bake option. You have a threshing board now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And baking, yeah. I'm not sure you want to bake it, but you can. Yeah, you might be getting the cows here. Purple's Say highly, like, highly likely. Purple's like so far out of stuff to do. They, they won this game in the middle of round 12. All they have to do what, is what, like, what is What is their max score going to be? Well, how many major improvements can they buy? They can buy two more majors. Oh god. <laughs> also, how many more food do you need this harvest? Worth thinking about. Yes, six. No. Ah, uh, sorry, I have loom. I have you loom, yep. so... I have seven sheep. Well, so not too much more. That gets me three foods, so I need three more. Right. All right, how the hell am I getting three more food? Well, the good news is you have two moves to do it. I see a couple decent ways here. Okay, so cultivation and baking is one. Yep. Which I like if it's available, because I want to be planting... Oh, actually, I don't like it that much. Yeah, it's not great, but it's it's better than nothing. The other option is use stuff in your supply. The three clay in your supply is kind of just sitting there, right? Okay, so I can turn that to stone and build a joinery, is that what you're saying? That would be two food. Or I can just build a fireplace. Right. And eat into your sheep points a tiny bit. Well, you got cultivation back, so... Uh, I mean... <laughs> you have, you have some it. good options here. Do you want to sow this grain or do you want to bake it? 
I'd prefer sewing it. Okay. But I, but I may starve. It's kind of reliant on me getting the fireplace, right? It is a little reliant on that, yes. Are you playing for first uh, place? No, I'm playing for second. So I can just bake it. Yeah. Feels bad, though. It feels bad. And that's because uh, I led you astray on the... Uh, on the uh, bread paddle interaction. Should I have paid for grocer? Actually, it doesn't make any difference, right? Uh, I think you probably should have. And then planted the extra, yeah. Yeah, because who knows if you can plant next round or not. And if you end up with a fireplace, it'll be food positive. But, you know, we're talking about things that probably don't matter much here. Still want to get the best possible score I can. Yeah, of course. But okay, I would not have gotten Fireplace. Right, because uh, Purple is running out of ways to get points, still. Oh, dear God. <laughs> uh, I'm sort of running out of stuff to do as well. Eh, don't panic, you have stuff to do. So, I don't particularly like getting your grain. Grain is okay, you don't have a pig yet. Right, just get the damn pig. Okay. Yep. You have two more points of sheep coming in. You have one more point of cows coming in. You have one more field point. You have one more vegetable point. You're going to have a fine game here. You are always going to have a hard time beating 55 or 60. A well-played day labor hand is just kind of impossible to beat in a lot of situations. And yeah, they, re they really got everything. Oh my god. Yeah, they're missing the rough caster. I'm sad they're not running rough caster. But... Yeah, that roof baluster is also huge for them. Yeah. In a late stone game. Double date stone. That you're coasting I, into second place by as much as you're in second place by, basically. So first action next round. Purple can't do Urgent Wish. Correct. Gray, gray probably won't. Uh, Drew's out on what Gray's going to do. I mean, Gray and Red have just earned the right to never try to predict what they're going to do. Well, I don't have to worry about red. Yeah. Yeah. Gray iron. I mean, basically, if, if there's a legal move, wild cards are very possibly going to do them. I don't normally fill up my farm, so this feels good as well. Yeah. It's good fun. Uh, yep, we are not doing you. Yeah, I mean, I think... This mostly went pretty well. Red made it very tough for you to 
maximize childless. Okay, I'm definitely taking urgent wish here. Yep, three points and an action at the cost of three food? Two food. Free food? Explain. You need to pay one to adopt, and then you need to pay an extra one in harvest. Oh, right, yes. Okay. So, two food. Cultivation is uh, a point and a few food. A fireplace is a point and some food outs. You can build a stable, but I'm going to guess that purple beats you to building stables. Oh, maybe not. They built stables already. Maybe they're going back for seconds. They might be. They're looking at their game and like, what else is there? Not much, buddy. Technically, you can adopt uh, at any time later in the round. Oh, really? Okay, you don't you don't have to do it straight away. Adoptive parents says that. Yeah. Okay. Or it doesn't specify that's, a time. Yeah. Yeah, that's good to know. There's still a two brick fireplace. Yep. That just got replaced. Oh, okay, yes. That makes sense then. I think he's definitely going for stable. Should I stable block him for the fun of it? Uh, I personally wouldn't, um, because you can do good stuff with that wood. You can build a joinery here, but if you're going to build a fireplace, I would do that right now. I will build a fireplace. Yeah, this this really makes it impossible for you to starve too badly here. You're probably getting a sew action. Yep. Uh, you can fill in your fences instead of stabling also. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. Just get four pastures. Right. That is one extra point. Mm -hmm. Same as a stable. Yeah. Uh, three actions left. Mm -hmm. Take your best one. So, cultivation? Yep. That and grain utilization are the same for you. I don't want to bake. Buy the grocer? Yes. Oh, restart. where is he? You have to restart. Uh, wait, did you buy it? Oh, you don't have food. <laughs> um, I don't particularly need the grocer and the extra veggie anyway, do I? I guess you don't, yeah. It would have been nice to get two extra food from having that veggie. Yeah.
Okay, so my last two actions are basically fence is one. Maybe get a sheep. How much more food do you need? So I am getting three from Loom. Mm -hmm. I have an extra veggie. Yeah. That's four. Um, that's five because you have a fireplace now. Okay, that's five. You can buy your grocery and eat it. So you're up to six. So you're four food short. Uh, three cows. You want no, four. four cows is good. Right now, um, I think you're eating two points. Okay, so, so I'll just take food. Sure. Fishing. Yep, that saves a cow, basically. Am I still one short? I think so. I think you're one food short. So taking a food is the same thing as getting a point, which is the same thing as spending wood for fences, so. All right. Yep, on a technicality, reedstone food is two more tiebreak resources, but that's for exact counting purposes that don't matter. All right, congratulations, Red, taking start player four times in the first five rounds. Good job. That's what you say if you're salty. <laughs> I'm not too salty. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm happy with second. Yeah. And your plan is eat two veg. Yep, two veg, and that's it. Yep. All right, so a few things that happened might not have happened if if this wasn't a co-op mission. If this wasn't co-op, it would have been a very different game. So let's talk um, about how you think it might have been different. So I would have definitely gone the childless route. Mm -hmm. Um. Wouldn't have had grocer, probably wouldn't have had bread paddle. Okay, but you so have a manservant the... instead. So your yeah, food I would situation, have had man servant. let's call your food situation roughly the same. Uh, someone else's food situation is going to have a grocer in it, but that's not material to the outcome of this, I don't think. So you'd it's have had hard, direct feeding. It's, yeah, it's hard to say how the game would have gone. Um, I doubt fun. I would have been any anywhere near as efficient, though. Okay. So, what kind of thought processes do you think are creating more efficient... more efficiency? Or do you think it's more just, like, familiarity with the cards and exact good ways to use them? Yeah, I would say it's more being familiar with the exact combos. Okay. Like I forgot about I forgot about bread paddle quite a bit. Gotcha. Even yeah. the things like scholar with how scholar works. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because I think you know this. One of the things I'm hoping to do with with this whole experience is to also figure out ways to teach Agricola that don't involve just like. Asking people to learn all the combos. Because that it, makes it it's the... harder to get into. Whereas, one thing I want to be able to say is, uh, if you learn the big ideas behind why some cards are good, that will be enough. But I'm yeah, not I think there, sure there's, I say that. There's definitely a big learning curve with the cards. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's tough to teach someone from the very start how to, like, think about everything 
Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, this is one of the things I was talking to you right at the beginning, too, is that uh, if you're good at Agricola, you're good at pretty much all games. Or Yeah, know, there's a lot of different skill sets. Yeah. So I guess that is true. It's, it's an uphill battle because of that. The variety of skills makes it hard to teach, too. Yeah, um, I think I have some good ideas for, for the guide, though. Okay. I think I'm feeling feeling a lot more confident than I was, like, two weeks ago. Oh, I'm sure you must be. Like, you, you've now done three solid games in a row, so maybe I helped you with this one, but the other two you definitely had on your own. Yeah. Yeah, I feel confident with not only the cards, but sort of looking at the board and seeing which the best actions are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just need to improve, like, knowing knowing what other people are going to do, try to predicting their moves. Yeah, and looking maybe at that all, has... Looking at all the cards in the draft. Right, right, yeah. Um, I can also tell you that if you play smaller draft sizes, you're less likely to run into the same combos over and over. Right, because they won't always be there. Right. So that is something I'll change in my settings. Yeah, I mean, try it out. You're definitely entitled to prefer draft ten. What's the other option? Draft draft seven. Is uh, it? You can do seven, eight, nine, or ten, and you can even do occupations before minor improvements, or minors before occupations. But no one does that. So. Yeah, I think I'll I'll try draft seven. It makes a it makes a lot of difference, honestly, uh, because the cards are generally weaker people don't want to play them as much, so more of the action is on the, the board actions. Oh, I'll give it a go to see the difference anyway. Yeah. You, I might still get the same strong cars, just depends what's there. Right. I mean, right now you've had a few Childless Plow Driver games because those are regularly underrated by newer players. Yeah. So, But one of these days you'll get to big, build a big house and hopefully profit off of it. I, I will make that my, my aim. Yeah. I'll make it my aim to build a big house but and I probably mean, compete with all the other noobs. <laughs> being an expert at childless plow driver is also worth something. So, if, if That's what I tend to do when I'm learning any game. I find one or two strong strategies and just play them over and over. <laughs> so it, it's a habit I need to get out of. Well, uh, yeah, eventually for Agricola, but... I think you're learning a lot of important theory by doing this kind of game. Yeah, it's like it's perfecting one way of winning, but there's a lot more ways that I need to be aware of. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. yeah, this was good. I'm glad we got to walk through a game as it happens. Yeah, it's quite fun. I'll uh, I'll play a couple more games during the week. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Yep, good times. See you soon. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye, Sam.